Okay, so the reset did not work on the Curio 10S tablet. So what we're going to do is a hard restart, a, a hard reset, and basically this will wipe everything on the tablet, but we'll hopefully get it back up and running again. So to do this hard reset factory restore, what we need to do is press the power button and the volume up button and keep them pressed in. Um, I measured this about sort of 20 seconds. Now, most of the websites say about 10 seconds, but don't worry, it does actually take about 20 seconds. So here we go. And what this should do is bring us into the Android menu where we can configure everything, reset it all. So as I say, don't worry, it's going to come up after this screen here. And we're still holding it in. And right, that is our menu options. Those are our menu options there for this tablet. So what we need to do, we need to scroll down to wipe data factory reset. Let's just make it so you can see it there. Wipe data factory reset. So let's go down there. Oops. Right. So what we need to do is go down to wipe factory reset and then press the power button to select that option and it's going to give us a thing that says we basically need to scroll down with a plus button to delete all user data now, if you press the minus button, that's what comes up for whatever bizarre reason. And oh, I've gone past it again. And press the power button to select. And that will erase the data, wiping data, formatting data, etc. etc. So what this will do, this will once this is done. It will take us back to the uh, main screen where we need to select the reboot option. And once this option is obviously completed, it will erase all the data on the Curio 10S tablet. But what it will allow you to do is actually reboot, um, you know, get into the actual tablet itself. So it stops it being a paperweight. Um, unless you've saved your data on an external SD card, there, there will be no way once you've done this to get the data back. So, right, top option once we've done this is reboot system now. So press the power button and that will reset the Curio 10S tablet. And now this will, will restart everything. I'll take you through the full restart just so you know that I'm not lying. <laughs> and it does take a bit of time for it to load when it's first reset factory reset um, it will need to reinstall everything for you as well and you get to look at this annoying loading screen As I say, it does take a while, so don't be discouraged if this is what it does to you when you first uh, factory reset it. It will load eventually. It just does take a hell of a lot of time to do so. What you might want to do is, uh, is go grab yourself a cup of tea or uh, get a drink while this loads itself up.
once it's done this initial setup it does load up a lot faster Okay, losing the will to live. Ah, here we go. <coughs> Screen got a little bit brighter when I said that. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> so, right then, here we go. This is the... Now, this is now reset. So, as I said, this needs to install the... Uh, preloaded applications that Curio have put on for us. Thank you. And from here, you can obviously set all your timers up and everything like that. Um, set the time and date. And install any applications. Basically, just you just need to reset your tablet. And uh, So what I'm going to do is just turn it off there. Power it down. And that is how you hard reset your Curio 10S tablet if you're experiencing problems where it's stuck on that loading screen. My name is Matt from XL Pro PC. If you've liked what I've done today, please subscribe to the channel. We do various fixed videos for tablets, laptops, etc., etc., and desktops. And we do about three videos a week, all in all. And you can. You want you can like this uh, this video or dislike it whichever you want to do and that is all for now thank you very much for watching bye bye